Hello everybody, today I'm going to be restoring this 1800s pump organ. As you can see, it's quite dusty. I mean, look at that. Beautiful. So yeah, let's get right into it. I started off by taking my vacuum cleaner and giving the whole thing a good va well, vacuum. Trying to get into every nook and cranny possible. Just trying to get as much dust off as possible. Next, I brush the organ's teeth to prevent it from getting cavities. This is a very important step often missed by most people doing restorations. After that, I use the Zap Professional Wood Restorer, and I sprayed it across the entire surface of the organ, wiped it down, and then buffed it with a paper towel, and it ended up working pretty well. Okay, so as I was recording this, I just found something. So back here, there's this panel, and if you open it up, like this, let me see if I can get it. So if you open it up, in the back, there's a couple of pieces I thought were just missing. First of all, there's this one keycap, which I thought was just completely gone. I thought to make a new one, but that's nice that it's back here. And if I lift this one part up, you'll see that the, uh, the key cover is actually here too. So I thought both of those things were just going to be gone, but they're both here. So, yeah, that's cool. All right, now that everything's clean and shiny, I took this downstairs and I'm gonna test out every key on every stop setting. So I'll pull one out and just simply try out every single key. Oh, and as you can see, this one right here, it makes no noise. So that's oh, this one too. So these ones are fine, but that these two over here, yeah, these ones definitely need some attention. All right, moving on to this stop. Okay. And one more. And these two again. Okay. Okay, moving on to the lower end, let's see, these ones should be better because the reeds on these ones are actually like larger, you know, so they're clogged, so I don't think any of these will be uh, dead. Yeah, okay, so none of these are dead, okay, but they're, uh, this... This low C appears to be sticking, so we gotta figure out what's causing that. I decided to move to this workspace because it's, as you can see, it's a lot nicer and cleaner. Got the scarecrow right there. So right now I'm basically just disassembling the whole organ just to figure out what problems there is and basically how it works in order to figure out a way to fix, you know, those problems.
right now. So this thing right here, as you can see, is pretty loose. So I'm just gonna try to tighten this down, see if that helps. And yeah, it looks like this piece of wood's cracked. So I'll uh, tighten the other side though, just to be sure. And uh, yeah, I'll flip it over. Hmm, looks like someone was in here in 1922. Interesting. So now I'm just going to vacuum the rest of the inside of the organ just to make sure there's you no know, more dust that's in the way of anything. So now I'm going to try to repair this wobble. I think the last person put these things in to try to fix it. And here's a nail from the 1800s. That's, that's pretty cool. But yeah, so what I'm going to try to do is just add this wooden block here. It's kind of a piece of crap, this piece of wood I found, but it's all I got. I'm using nails. So now I'm going to use this modified paint can opener as a reed extractor. So basically what I'm going to do is just get this thing out of the way. And then I'll pull out the reeds one by one like this. I'm going to start by taking these reeds over to the sink and wiping them down with a soapy water solution. This will help break free any debris or dust or getting caught in between the tongue of the reed and the reed plate. This will help all the dead reeds sound better and help prevent any more reeds from going dead. Because the reason why the reeds go dead is because a piece of debris is caught between the tongue of the reed and the reed plate. So all you really have to do to fix that problem is simply free the thing blocking the reed tongue from the reed plate. And now I'm just going to give it a test. Sounds good. Now I'll just repeat that process for the rest of the reeds. This is only half of them. Once you've got all the reeds cleaned and cleaned the organ as good as possible, you can carefully push the reeds in, making sure that they go in straight, because if they're on an angle, they'll kind of crack where they're supposed to go into. I also recommend testing each reed before you put them in. That way you don't have to take it all apart later. Thank you. 
Okay, so we got all of them except for this one, so I'm gonna take it, try cleaning it out, and see if that fixes it. Cool. So it looks like we got all the reeds finally cleaned up. Now we just got to do some mechanical restoration.